My name is Gabe Shipley. I am a student in the Objectivist Academic Center at the Ayn Rand Institute. And today I'm gonna to read for you and discuss a little bit one of my favorite quotes from Ayn Rand from her novel, Atlas Shrugged. So in this passage, the speaker uh, discusses a bit about the importance of making decisions uh, based on the facts of reality, particularly engaging one's reasoning faculty to evaluate the facts of reality in order to make decisions in all aspects of life. The passage very nicely illustrates an aspect of this in the context of building moral character. And so for Ayn Rand and her philosophy, a very central aspect, uh, particularly in her epistemology and ethics, is to engage one's reasoning faculty uh, un in an uncompromising fashion so that you can build your moral character based on reality and based on existence without evading uh, reality or evading the facts of reality. So here's the quote. In any compromise between food and poison, it is only death that can win. In any compromise between good and evil, it is only evil that can profit. And that transfusion of blood which drains the good to feed the evil, the compromiser is the transmitting rubber tube. You who are half rational, half coward, have been playing a con game with reality. But the victim you have conned is yourself. When men reduce their virtues to the approximate, then evil acquires the force of an absolute. When loyalty to an unyielding purpose is dropped by the virtuous, it's picked up by scoundrels. And you get the indecent spectacle of a cringing, bargaining, traitorous good and a self-righteously uncompromising evil. So when I first read this passage from Ayn Rand, I remember being struck by the, first off, the, the imagery that she uses. She very nicely illustrates the importance of this uncompromising attitude, this unwillingness to evade reality, not to compromise with a certain situation or in the short term, but to engage one's reasoning faculty in all things in life and un in an unyielding fashion. Um, in every aspect of life, using one's reason to evaluate the facts and make decisions accordingly, that's how one uh, is able to build a moral character, is able to progress through life, and is able to stave off any sort of uh, evil or um, uh, wrong thoughts creeping into one's uh, uh, overall long-term thought. Um, so to this day, when I read that passage, I really get a, a, a very good sense of what she meant by this, this unyielding, this uncompromising mentality. And I try and keep the, this, this passage close, close to hand, close to mind uh, when I'm moving through my life to remind me to engage my reasoning faculty, to really think things through and not to be willing to make these compromises uh, with, or, or evade reality in, in any given situation. Uh -huh.